guys. I'm gonna get ready to do another video. One thing I forgot to show y'all on the last video is the trigger. All right, see it? I just want to show y'all the trigger reset. Wait, I did that all wrong. Let me do this. All right, see? Seen that? Now watch the trigger reset. See how short that was, bro? This is a three pound trigger. Now, what I want to do is this video is an upgraded version of my uh, MCK conversion kit. The last video, I mean the uh the last one y'all seen, that was the uh the original one I had. Now I'm gonna show y'all the one that I just got today. Alright. See it. This is the new one. You know, the last one had the longest stock. I got the shorter stock. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, and also, let me turn it around so y'all can see. I got the brass catcher on now. I told y'all I was going to get a brass catcher. I'm not fucking off. Let me see. That's how you take it off. This part right here, you know, just opens, close. And it's secure. That bitch ain't going nowhere. But yeah, just open like that. Or you just close it. No. Now I'm going to put this bitch in. All you do, see this button right here? You push it in. And this lever right here. Pull that back. Pull it up, and then you make sure this piece right here is all the way back. Gun ain't loaded. You should know that. The serrations, you line it up with the serrations inside. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Once you do that, put a gun forward, and this part right here. You push down and you push up. I don't know if y'all can see that. This little red piece right here, the little locking part, that mean it's secure. That bitch ain't going nowhere. Yeah, this is what it looked like with the brass catcher though. You feel me? That bitch secure. It ain't going nowhere. When I want to open it, I can open it and leave it like that. I don't know if y'all can see that. Leave it like that. Or I can close it. Now look, the last one I had, I had the brass catcher, but I had got the wrong one. I had got, because I didn't know they had two different kinds. Both of these I had ordered from... Not the actual website, the MCK conversion kit website. I ordered it from Optics Planet. And um, I didn't know that they had two different kind of brass catchers. The one for this one says Glock 26 and Glock 27. You can see it right there. It says it on the brass catcher. But yeah, let me put this bitch in. It's my favorite one. Uh, let's see. That's what it looked like. And that's what it looked like. Like I said, I had got the uh the shorter stock. But the only thing about it is it doesn't close all the way with the brass catcher. If I wanted to close it all the way, I have to pull this open like that. And then close it. See? But that's still nice. 
But since it's short, I can leave it like that because this is short. And I could just keep this closed at all times. Yes, sir. And then, of course, it got the brace on there. You know, tuck that bitch, shoot it like this. Oh, yes. Yes. This bitch feels snug. You feel me? It feels snug. See, the other one I had, it, it was a stendo. It was a stendo stock. So it, it came out like that, which is you no, know, it's cool. But now I got this snug bitch right here. Oh, yeah, I'm in now. I feel like I'm ready to go to war. Let me take this out. All, only thing you do to take this mag out is these two little buttons right here. You see it? And then it's another one on this side. You just pull it. And that's it. Put this bitch in. Tell me. Yeah. Let me know what y'all think, man. Let me tighten up. Put this bitch in. This bitch feels so light. I like that I got the, the short, the shorter stock. So I can, you feel me? I can snuck this bitch like I want to. I, or I can shoot it like this. You feel me? I want to shoot it like this. You feel me? I like this bitch. Look at it. Yes, sir. This bitch is nice. My cousin, when I had walked in the house, he talking about, oh, let me see your gun. You always got some guns. What type of guns you got? I got some big shit. You know what I told him? I said, man, I got the biggest shit in Sarasota, boy. You ain't fucking with me. Ain't nobody fucking with me. I got some shit that be in action movies. Real shit. And I actually seen one of these in the action movies, too, on Netflix. Um, I think it's called The Second. Second or The Second. Y'all check that out. Um, It's on Netflix. I think it's called The Second. This actual gun was on the movie. I swear to God. But they had the, the longer version. Oh, that's what I want to tell y'all. Guess what? I got this bitch for free. Um, This bitch got a cut on it. But yeah, um, guess what? I got this bitch for free. Um, I got this from Optics Planets, right? The first, my first set. Because, yeah, my first set, they had shipped it to another address. So, um... Once they sent me to another address, I had to order me another one, which was the one that you guys seen on my other video. You know, the last one, the first one that I had showed you guys. That's the one that they had sent me. But the one the one that they had sent to the other address, I guess the person had sent it back. So they had emailed me and said, um, we're going to resend it to the correct address and stuff like that. So, you know, I've been debating. It's like, it's like, shit, I already got one. I should try to see if I can just sell it because I don't need two of them. So I've been hesitating. I didn't want to call them to see if I can get my money back because they probably would have looked up in the system and said, um, well, we already sold you one, so you, you can't get this one or you can't get your money back. So I was kind of hesitating. A day went by. I said, fuck it. I'm going to just call and see if I can get my money back. I called, see if I can get my money back. Guess what? I got my money back. So, God blessed me, and I got this shit for free. I literally just got this shit for free. I got my money back. Damn, but well, that was a blessing. I want to tell y'all that. How much you paid for this? I didn't. I got this shit for free. They sent the wrong one, bro. And the actual one, the dude that they got it from had sent it back. And, you know, I got my shit back. I got my money back. So, I got this shit for free. Real shit. And I got an updated version. I got the right size brass catcher. Glock 27 brass catcher, and I got a shorter stock, and it's still a brace. It's still a brace, but since it's a short, short stock, I probably wouldn't really need the brace. Maybe I would, maybe I wouldn't, but I probably don't think I, I really need the brace. Um, yeah, I do want to go to the gun range and, and and see how many rounds this brass catcher hold. Um. Look like it's a pouch right here. All you do is just open this pouch, and then all the shells fall out. So that you know, that's easy. That's nice. Um, let me see what else. Yeah, but that's pretty much what I want to show y'all. My new brass catcher. I mean, my new uh, MCK conversion kit, AKA Sector Seven, because that's what I'm gonna name this motherfucker. This bitch from now on, I'm gonna call this bitch Sector Seven. 
Ain't nobody fucking with me, bro. Real shit. I got friends, but I don't need friends now that I got this. I wish somebody would try to fuck with me. I got a brass catcher. Y'all check my old channel out. We got brass catchers out the brass catchers. Got the drum. Bitch hold 80. But right now I hold a whole uh 60. We got the 30 rounds. Now this bitch hold 80. Yeah, let me know what y'all think, man. This bitch badass. Watching. Watching. Got the grass catch on there. We ain't fucking off. Alright. Like I say, man, this bitch is sector seven, so let me know what y'all think. Peace out. Like, comment, and subscribe.